Soccer 605, we're here with Coach Merle Askey of the Aberdeen Central Golden Eagles. Uh, your girls look pretty darn good tonight, Coach. Yeah, we did a pretty good job. You know, we got we did, got on them early in the first half, and we, we had a really good first half. Um, we just need to find a way to be a little more aggressive in the second half, maybe, and find some chances. Mm -hmm. You know, we had a couple of chances, but we just didn't we didn't get those good opportunities like we did in the first half where we could get right in front and finish. Um, and we and we knew as soon as they got if they got a goal that it was going to be a battle the rest of the way, and that's what it turned into with a 2-2 draw. So. Yeah. Well, the Cobblers seem to get themselves a little better organized as the game went on. Yep, they did a really good job. You know, they they did a really good job of keeping keeping in touch with everybody, um, and they just kept coming forward. And, and they they got a lot of speed, and they got a lot of talent, and they got some height. You know, and it's just tough for you to hold them off for an entire 80 minutes. You know, and our girls did a really good job of, of doing as as much as we could. You know, but um, in the end, you know, they just found a way to, to to get the ball in the net a couple of times, and then we have to try to find we have to try to find a way to score in that second half. Yeah. Yep, and there just wasn't quite enough time left in that half, was there? There wasn't quite enough time when we give one up with about two minutes to go. It's kind of tough to get a third one, tough. third one. So, so you've got some young, very young, dynamic players on your team. Um, you always seem to find those players, Coach Askey, that. Um, can really bring a lot to the program. You've got some young ones that are coming up, so what are you guys doing to get them better prepared? Obviously some good competition. Yeah, you know, our, we got a lot, a, lot, a lot of kids out there, you know, and we have a lot of good young kids. You know, we have a few a few of our starters are injured right now and just can't play. Uh -huh. So it's a, it's a point where we're, we're basically now they're getting, a, you know, so we're playing some girls that are getting a lot of minutes that mm -hmm. normally we wouldn't give them, they wouldn't get as many minutes at the varsity level. So it, it's good in that sense, and you know, and we're holding our own against most of the teams that we're playing, so it's a good thing. Um, yeah, we, we, you know, our, our competitive program does a really good job of getting plenty of girls in, you know, and, you know, because we had, we had 70 girls try out for the high school wow. team. So we cut, uh, we cut half of the girls, we kept 38 and cut another half of them. So it's a really good, it's a really good problem to have, but at the Great. same token, it, it gets, gets kind of difficult, you know, and most of them are junior high girls, so they're young, you know, and, and we have a competitive C team that's got, got about 35 girls on it. So okay. they, they're, they're trying to get some games in this fall and hopefully we can keep them building so that mm -hmm. they they're there when it when it gets time, um, so that the high school league actually has C teams. Um, so we have we have a good good body of girls to be able to play yeah. um, three levels of game. Yeah. So now I've actually heard some talk about a couple different options. One is getting middle school, junior high soccer going. Um, that wouldn't help because you don't have that many teams up there, but uh, more of an intramural thing. And the other one is to start having freshman teams and JV and varsity. Yep. Yeah. I think I think you know that's the thing that they're looking at the most, you know, and the junior high girls, you know, they, they need a place to play at a competitive level, yeah. you know, and lose them to the, the right. Sport. And in the fall, there's just really not a big, a big club environment in South Dakota. So we, we need to find a way to get them involved in the school somehow. And whether that be through a junior high program or maybe, um, or maybe have a freshman team where a lot of, like in our case, the freshman, the freshman team is probably going to be a lot of seventh and eighth graders, but by the same token, that gives them an opportunity. You can get 15 to 16 more girls out there on your high school team or, or in your school teams and they can get out there you know and, and probably have a different tra traveling schedule so yeah. we're not trying to play three games in one day wherever yeah. we go but you know they can travel a little bit differently and and hopefully through our conference and stuff we can try to get some yeah. of that stuff going. Of, that'd be nice. Now I, as I recall Aberdeen was the first public school to sanction or adopt sanctioned high school soccer. I believe so we were right in there with maybe maybe a couple of B schools I mean yeah. but yeah for the most part yeah I think we were we, we've been in for this is my ninth year so we've been yeah. in, in the high school for nine years now so um, it's good to have finally, you know, these last few years here to have all the high schools in having high school soccer. And it, and it makes it, you know, a much better environment for everybody. And, and it gives these kids the opportunity to be recognized by not only their peers, but also by the schools and, and, and the state and, and get the media out there covering the games and get a lot, see a lot more scores and activities and, and get our sport out there with everybody else. Yeah, well, you know, did you ever envision there'd be 17 AA girls teams this, this soon? No. I, it was, <laughs> It was, it was just for a long time. It didn't look like we were going to get there, but you know, once once teams started coming in, then then everybody kind of came, and it's really nice to see programs like Douglas step up to the yeah. plate, even though they're down numbers probably a little bit, but they're really getting involved, you know, and, and they're giving their kids the opportunity to get out there and compete, and hopefully that's where it starts, is to get them out there compete, yeah. and then you can start building at those other levels and get your numbers yeah. up. It's good to see Douglas here on another one, adding the yeah. girls' program. Yep, yep, okay. here and you know, here and Ted programmed on and off, but now they've in the last few years they've they've kept their girls program going you know and and Sturge just keeps theirs going and and it really helps to you know it'll take them a while to build up yeah. to where they're going to be overly competitive with the top five or six schools you know but it you know they're they're out there competing and they're getting 
you know, they're they're out there getting you know ties and victories once in a yep, while. Yep. So you find the victories where you can yep. in your uh, new program. Well, Coach Askey, really appreciate you taking some time with us at Soccer 605. Uh, congratulations on a great season already so far, and best luck with the rest of it. All right, thanks, Carol. Have a good night. Thanks.